natto has been eaten in Japan for over a thousand years. Natto bacteria can withstand extreme heat. This is incredibly rare and valuable. Starting from just a single bacterium after 16 hours, there are an astonishing 720 million bacteria, but I think it's one of the most nutritionally complete plant-based foods available. In Today we're going to take a deep dive into one of Japan's most fascinating and powerful fermented foods, natto. You might be thinking of that truly sticky, quite stringy and rather smelly soybean dish, perhaps natto. But if you watch until the end, I think you'll understand why natto is considered the ultimate superfood. Before we get into what natto actually is, we need to understand Japan's amazing fermentation culture that made this food possible. So let's get started. As I mentioned in the previous video, let's start by reviewing the basics. Do you remember the difference between fermentation and putrefaction? Scientifically, they are exactly the same process. Both are carried out by microorganisms, in other words, tiny decomposers. These microorganisms break down large molecules into smaller ones. The reason is that they also need to eat. Just as we can't swallow a whole apple, these microorganisms also need to break down food into small fragments that they can absorb. So, why do we use different words? It's because when the microorganisms produce something beneficial for us humans, delicious flavors or nutrients, when they create health benefits, we call it fermentation. On the other hand, when they produce something harmful or unpleasant, we call it putrefaction. It's all a matter of human perspective. The microorganisms don't care. They are simply trying to survive. Now let's talk about Japan, a leading country in fermentation. Even compared to other East Asian countries with rich fermentation traditions, Japan truly stands out as unique when it comes to fermentation. What is the secret behind this? It's a special mold called koji. Scientifically, it's known as Aspergillus oryzae. This isn't just any ordinary mold. Koji is a fermentation powerhouse that naturally lives on rice. Koji has more than 2,400 different enzymes. To put it another way, it's like having 2,400 different tools at your disposal, each designed for a specific job. This makes Koji extremely effective at breaking down all kinds of food substances. Among these 2,400 enzymes to understand natto and Japanese fermentation, there are two that are especially important. One is amylase. This enzyme breaks down starch into glucose, creating natural sweetness. In fact, your own saliva contains amylase. That's why when you chew rice slowly, it starts to taste sweet. The amylase in your mouth is breaking down the starch into sugar. The other is protease. This enzyme breaks down proteins into amino acids. And here's the exciting part. Amino acids are components of sweetness. Their rich and delicious flavor makes food incredibly satisfying. This is why Japanese fermented foods have such a rich and complex taste. Let me give you a concrete example of just how powerful Japanese koji is. Take sake for instance. Sake is made only from rice. No sugar is added. Just rice, water, koji and yeast. The amylase in koji is so powerful that it can break down the starch in rice into enough sugar to produce alcohol. In the case of alcoholic beverages from other East Asian countries, sugar needs to be added to reach the proper alcohol level. Apparently, European winemakers were astonished when they learned that sack is made from ordinary rice without adding any sugar at all. With grapes, you can naturally ferment them because they are sweet, but rice isn't sweet. So how is it possible to make alcohol without adding sugar? The answer lies in the incredible enzymatic power of koji. This is why Japan leads the world in fermentation technology. Koji culture forms the foundation of almost all traditional Japanese seasonings and fermented foods. It's used in Japanese cuisine. Sake, miso, and soy sauce. Without koji, Japanese cuisine as we know it would not exist. It's that fundamental. Now let's talk about today's star, natto. Natto is a truly traditional Japanese food product meticulously made by carefully fermenting soybeans with specific beneficial bacteria. 
However, here's something quite interesting and definitely worth noting. Natto has been eaten in Japan for over a thousand years. Some historical records even suggest that it could date back to the Jomon period, more than 2,000 years ago. Just think about that for a moment. For over a thousand years, the Japanese have been consuming this powerful fermented food. It is incredibly nutritious. Because of its unique properties, it has survived through countless generations. Natto has three major characteristics. Its stringy, sticky texture, it stretches out into threads, and then its strong smell. It's even ranked among the smelliest foods in the world and its powerful nutritional value. It's a very distinctive and unique food, but I think it's one of the most nutritionally complete plant-based foods available. The strong smell that natto gives off comes from the ammonia produced by the natto bacteria. This bacterium has extraordinary properties for creating vegan superfoods. Natto bacteria naturally inhabit rice straw, especially organic rice straw. That's why traditionally steamed soybeans were wrapped in rice straw and naturally fermented to make natto. When conditions become harsh, natto bacteria form a protective membrane around themselves and enter a dormant state. It's like the bacteria are sleeping inside a protective capsule. When favorable conditions return, they wake up and become active again. This survival ability is actually extremely rare among beneficial bacteria. Only natto bacteria and another gut-friendly bacterium called butyric acid bacteria share this trait. Moreover, natto bacteria can withstand extreme heat. When you cook heated dishes, the bacteria don't die. They survive the cooking process. This is incredibly rare and valuable because it means that even when you cook with natto, you can still get the probiotic benefits of natto. And as for the reproduction rate of natto bacteria, it's extraordinary. Natto bacteria double every 30 minutes. Starting from just a single bacterium after 16 hours, there are an astonishing 720 million bacteria. And after 18 hours, that number grows to 11.52 billion. This growth rate is overwhelmingly powerful in the world of microorganisms. Natto bacteria can completely dominate and overwhelm other microorganisms. Natto bacteria love sugar. When you add sugar to natto, something interesting happens. The bacteria produce even more of the sticky substance known in Japanese as neba neba. Sugar actually makes natto even stickier. The bacteria voraciously consume the sugar and quickly convert it into those characteristic sticky threads. It's quite fascinating to watch. And natto bacteria have another superpower as well. That is, they can survive the digestive tract. The human stomach is an extremely harsh environment. It has to be in order to break down food and eliminate potentially harmful bacteria. Most beneficial bacteria can't survive this acidic bath but when natto bacteria encounter the strong acids in the stomach, they form a protective membrane and enter a dormant state, essentially sleeping through the dangerous journey. When they reach the intestines, where there is plenty of food and a more favorable environment, they wake up and become active again. This ability to reach the intestines and survive is what makes natto such a powerful probiotic food. Natto is not some new Japanese superfood trend. It has been nourishing people for over a thousand years. Let's talk about enzymes. Natto contains four important digestive enzymes. First is protease, which breaks down proteins into amino acids. Then there's lipase, which breaks down fats, and amylase. It breaks down starch, and then cellulase breaks down dietary fiber. These are similar to the enzymes found in koji, but they're not as powerful. However, there is an important difference. The enzymes in natto continue to work in your digestive system. Now, let's talk about natto kinase. It's probably the most potent component of natto. Natto kinase is an enzyme that doesn't exist anywhere else in nature. Only the natto bacteria produce it. Its main function is to dissolve blood clots. It helps prevent the formation of clots supports healthy circulation and may reduce the risk of stroke and heart attack. However, there are some precautions to keep in mind. If you have already experienced a stroke, myocardial infarction or heart attack, it's best not to consume natto without consulting your doctor. Because its blood thinning effect is very strong, 
If you are already taking blood thinning medication or have certain illnesses, it could be dangerous. However, for prevention purposes, for over a thousand years, Japanese people who have eaten natto have benefited from it. Lecithin is another attractive component of natto. Lecithin is like a natural emulsifier that can mix oil and water. When you consume foods rich in lecithin, like natto, first it helps protect your skin. Lecithin helps create a more effective protective barrier by properly emulsifying the water and oil components of your skin's natural moisture. And it also nourishes beneficial bacteria. The skin is covered with beneficial bacteria that require proper nutrition. Lecithin serves as food for these beneficial microorganisms, supporting a healthy skin ecosystem, and it acts as a factory for absorption. Lecithin helps to better absorb fat, soluble vitamins and nutrients, and it makes overall nutrition more effective. Thanks to natto, your skin may become vibrant, radiant, and look beautiful. Now let's talk about isoflavones. Soy products are famous for containing isoflavones, which are said to be related to various diseases. However, this is where an important difference lies. Not all isoflavones are created equal. Tofu, soy milk, edamame, and similar foods have sugar chains attached around the isoflavones. Their absorption rate is about 50 to 60 percent. Your body has to work even harder to make use of them. On the other hand, the isoflavone aglicones found in fermented soy products like natto, miso, and soy sauce, the sugar chains of isoflavone aglicones are removed by fermentation bacteria, resulting in an absorption rate of over 90% and immediate biological availability in the body. Natto is extremely rich in natural vitamin K2. Vitamin K2 is said to be a nutrient that plays a very important role, such as activating proteins that help maintain bone health and prevent arteriosclerosis and heart disease. Now, let's talk about potassium. Natto is rich in this essential mineral. Potassium plays an important role in regulating the sodium balance in your body. With enough potassium, your body can prevent excessive absorption of sodium. This helps regulate your blood pressure more effectively, and it also optimizes cellular hydration. Muscle and nerve functions are improved as well. If you tend to eat processed foods or use salty seasonings, make sure to get enough potassium. If you consume too many processed foods or too much salty seasoning, potassium helps naturally balance your sodium intake. Think of potassium as your body's natural sodium regulator. Consider potassium as the regulator that helps control sodium levels. It helps prevent your body from absorbing more sodium than necessary. Natto, a traditional fermented food passed down for over a thousand years, is a special food for the Japanese people. Personally, I didn't eat much natto when I was younger because of its strong smell and stickiness. But as I became more conscious of taking care of my body and mind, I started to eat it intentionally. And as it became a habit, I suddenly realized that my body and mind felt astonishingly lighter compared to before. When you eat fermented foods, you get a sense of being connected to the earth through what you eat. It feels as if you are connected to something profound and ancient. え、え、100% <笑>